Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right. I forgot how to act. It's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words. It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words. Now I know why I never worked out before. Hello, it would always turn out bad, so bad. But every time we start a fight, we always stop in time. We both know how to be gentle, never cross the line. I feel cool when you're around, like nothing can break me.
All right, guys, let's get some Lost Creek rolling here. Hope you all are doing good. Let me get some, see if I can get us some calming music going, too. It's kind of a rainy, just like cozy Saturday here. Not a lot going on at all. That's not very calm. There we go. Little calmer. Hey, Cybers. Silver folks. Hello, Harry. What's up, Bean Queen? We're... We're going to focus on us a... I think we're going to focus on us like an eagle rehabilitation little section here. Right, right across from Big Brody. Do you guys like how the restaurant ended up turning out? Wild Burger. Yeah, so this is kind of how the whole little area looks now. Coming right past the restrooms. All right, so let's get over here and think about some type of little layout. Hey, morning, Bold. <laughs> Slash afternoon, yes. How'd your all's Terra Nova premiere go? I could not catch it this time. They was a... Uh, I had to record a little spot for the um, Age of Empires 4 kind of big reveal stream was this morning. So I'll have to run that back this evening. Let's just see if we can get like a little kind of ridge going here. for our bold eagles. Oh yeah, that's right, uh, Silver Fox, you were in a big, you, they're moving offices, aren't you? Remember, this isn't going to be too large because these particular eagles, they can't fly anymore. So this is like a, a rehabilitation type of um, type of area for them. Where they can live out their lives peacefully. Some of them will say like can still fly just a little bit, but not like up and out of here, you know, they're whatever's happened to them. This, this is a little bit safer for them. Hey, what's up, Chris? Okay, what I want to do first is I kind of want to continue with my little stone barrier and then we'll go a little higher. Like before, I just kind of want to get it as close to the path as possible. Hey, what's up, Tiny Gamer? Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Anybody just tuning in, we're doing like a little bald eagle, um, like a bald eagle rehabilitation 
center, if you will. For our little eagles. Whoops. Hmm, let's see if I can get this on the inside of this without it actually wanting to snap to the little stone barrier. Let's see, maybe we can kind of shift our way out of this. There we go. Yeah, that Terra Nova, that is quite ambitious. That is pretty cool, though, that they're giving it a try. What's up, basic builder? Speaking of, you all go check out that latest, um, you can check out the latest Terra Nova episode. It uh, premiered on Basic Builder's channel this time. So you can kind of get caught up. From this morning. said this is going to be just a small little um eagle sanctuary almost you know nothing nothing too major just uh just to kind of compliment big brody's uh big brody's enclosure over here you know this is kind of like the start of the north american area so these eagles can't fly you know they're whatever's happened to them either in the wild or you know um, this is kind of like the little spot that they, that they let them, like kind of live out their lives here. Whoops. There we go. Hey, what's up, Claire? Every once in a while, I have to give Claire like a non 1 2 a.m. stream. <laughs>
Okay, let me go back to my Haribo. Wonderful, masterful log set, which I absolutely adore. Ah! <laughs> I don't know, Mast. That has yet to be determined. <laughs> that, that is... We will see. <laughs> I doubt it. Some guy just like destroyed me on a uh, on a comment last night. The comment that uh, that mask is alluding to is um, the guy said. I tweeted about it this morning. I said I've got to get better for this guy. <laughs> um. Let's see. The guy said... Uh, I, he commented on the um, on the uh, leak video. And then, but at the very bottom of that, he said, By the way, your zoo building skills are dot 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 questionable at best. I will be nice. I understand that PC might have been your thing and you might not be into zoos, but damn, dude, do a little research and get a little creativity going. That thing is all over the place. I'm assuming he's talking about uh, Lost Creek here. <laughs> Are we all over the place? I told, um, I told Jaunty, I'm like, how could somebody with a cool name Cool a name as Mario, be such a dick. <laughs> so that was in that was an interesting comment. And then Drew said the uh, that that comment is deleted, and there's a it's like the person put a nicer one on there. Which I haven't even went back and checked. I'm like, eh. You know. <laughs> comes with the YouTube. Comes with the YouTube territory, I guess. <laughs> Whoops. I don't want that guy. But yes. Uh, I must. <laughs> I must be more creative for you guys. Damn it. Hey, isn't that just my. That guy must. He must not have been around long. Because. Doesn't he know that that's just S Dan style? Like we're we're literally all over the place. <laughs> it's that guy's deal. It was probably just Drew with a fake account. <laughs> that's probably that's probably Drew's like backup account or something. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> what an ass for real oh well you can't please everybody all the time <laughs> yeah Drew's burner profile hey what's up Savannah Banana <laughs> Bolt said who is this guy we do not know. Okay, we gotta get our little eagles down in here. We can't really name these guys, but they're here. The gang is hanging out over here with Brody. You know, I should download his gold mod and I should make like maybe a couple of these golden eagles. There's our guys. So this is like our little Eagle Ridge Eagle Rehabilitation paddock, you know? Okay, let's get some foliage. 
uh, between these two fences. <laughs> Edward, that's one of them. Okay. <laughs> Some people are just haters. True. You have the perfect streaming time. Your background noise while I clean my disaster of an office. That's true, too. I, all right, when we get this done, I have got to pick this place up, too. My office, my office has just, like, become a catch-all this week. And maybe that's why I didn't feel like getting any really good videos out, because I kind of walked in here... Like, when I did get home, just kind of disgusted. Sometimes, a, like, a good office cleaning or a gaming space cleaning will, like, mentally clean you. <laughs> it's like, it, it can make you want to get in here and just, like, do better. Ah, oh, I know. I got a uh, mass bandit drew... Me and Jaunty have a, um, a one-shot D&D uh, &D session probably for the next couple weeks while duct tape has got a bunch of stuff going on in real life. And I have to make a sorcerer goblin. Uh, and we have, to <laughs> we have to come up with a goblin uh, voice too. So, <laughs> interest, interesting times. Okay. Guess we don't necessarily need to do them a little pool as much as let's just get them like some kind of little maybe this maybe this little water part this little water pipe guy will do. If it doesn't bork my terrain here too bad. No, that wasn't too bad. I highly recommend you take a look at how casters work. It's complex. That does not give me confidence. <laughs> I'm just now getting the hang of a barbarian orc. <laughs> now I'm going on to sorcerer, sorcerer goblin. Let's get these guys some trees. Don't you climb trees? Actually, first, let's... Hmm. Yes, early stream for Ricardo. Ricardo Vendeton. Hey, what's up, Jamie? A <laughs> goblin with a Brooklyn accent. Hey, that's an idea. Hey, thanks, Jamie. You know, a lot of people have stopped in and told us that since I started this. Uh, Linda... A bunch of people have kind of started some new zoos lately. This is a kind of like we're we're just kind of pumping them out right now, aren't we? Well, good time to start one too, because you know we know that um, we know that we're not you know still probably ninety days, maybe you know maybe eighty days away from any kind of new DLC announcement. So you know good. 
good time as ever to go ahead and jump in and start something new. You know, you have three months to kind of, you know, flesh something out before we, you know, hopefully get some new, new pieces. You know, I made a very tiny waterfall yesterday and thought Estan would approve. <laughs> yes, we need a Twitter picture of that. <laughs> you know what would be cool to kind of have their names here on the, uh, like on the front of the little enclosure here? So what did Cyber say earlier, Edward? I think one of them was Edward, right? All right, we need another one. Good eagle name. Come up with some good eagle names. <laughs> we need some eagle names. I think that's that was Edward, what Cyber said. Let me just see. Oh, yes, Edward. Yes. Eagly McEagle face. <laughs> We can name one of them. Um, what's the, not Ed, you know, Edward from uh, Twilight. What's the other little dude's name? Um, <laughs> Eric, that's a good one. There we go. Two more. You guys can come by see Edward, Eric, Richard, <laughs> Richard. One more. Henry. <laughs> Are we doing doing the Kings? <laughs> there we go. Ah, yeah, we need a we need a little we need a girl eagle. Hold on, sorry, Henry. Oh, I like that, Leah. Whoops. There we go. Richard. Leah, Richard, Eric, and Edward. There's our guys. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Samantha. These are so cool. I mean, it's not cool that they're kind of like implied that they're hurt, but... At least they can, like, we know they're going to live a nice life here. Oh, I'll need to get Jonas on me like a little uh, Lost Creek eagle, bald eagle info board. See, because he's, he's brought me in some that actually have the logo and everything. Check this out. Giant anteater. Lost Creek. Isn't that cool? Like Jonas has me like on brand here. Like even see the little ticket. Lost Creek. Ticket sign. Hey, what's up, Epic? <laughs> the gang.
There we go. It's pretty stinking cool, isn't it? You know, Claire, I don't know. Um, and maybe he does just use Photoshop. But he does a killer job. Look at the one here above the guest services building. I told him I wanted like a rustic, um, like, a, you know, a more rustic sign. And he come up with kind of like the, almost like the little jungle weathered background with the Lost Creek in it. And then this, I just found this off Google. <laughs> Help us stay in great shape. Do not feed the animals. So yes, massive shout out to Lion Rider for the Eagle mod. Um, the only thing about it is um, this is actually just a little static one where I have replaced the one of the large panda statues to get these guys in here which definitely not a big deal because i don't you know worth especially for this project worth it for the trade out ah uh, i've i've heard of a lot of people using canva lately yep That is a popular one. Whoops. There we go. Now that, that looks better. It doesn't look so staticky through there. Though, though perhaps a falcon may be cooler. <laughs> that would be cool. Do Lion Rider is making some pretty interesting progress on, on little birdies and stuff lately. I want to get, um, does anybody know if his White Rhino mod is out yet? Because I would love to have, like, I was telling him maybe just a couple days ago, I would love to have, like, a Dolly and uh, Polly in here, kind of like um, Zoo Knoxville has. Zoo Knoxville has two Southern White Rhinos. They're stinking awesome. Um... But, you know, maybe further down the road, you know, maybe some other little section, like maybe more towards some African animals, have like two of them here in Lost Creek. So I think that would be cool. But, you know, we'll see. Dude, sometimes these little implied exhibits are almost like if just as fun, if not more fun to make than actual exhibits. I mean, I love getting the actual animals in, don't get me wrong, but like creatively, it, it's like more creative freedom almost when you when you know that it's just a a fake little, you know, customized exhibit and it's not um it's not actually going to house the animals. My other half is a graphic designer by trade, so we have Photoshop, but I find it too complicated. Me too. Might have to ask him to make me some signs. Yes. Hey, Jake.
Yeah, it's just like when it's implied, it's just a little more open to, you know, your interpretation almost. How'd that come out? That's pretty cool for like a little Eagle Ridge, isn't it? Kind of compliments uh, Big Brody's space pretty well. There's the big guy himself. Big Brody. I want to get into a good first-person shooter again. I, I saw that when you said Prime away from his gaming. Like the, the Cold War stuff, or not the Cold War, but um, what's the, uh, kind of what everybody's playing right now, though? Is it the War Zone, where it's just like one big giant map? I'm not, that's not really my bag. I'm more like... I, I like just the, the smaller maps and the, the quick little time limit. I want to get into that. I want to get into like a good first person shooter again. There we go. So this is kind of like Lost Creek's uh, little kind of de facto North American area. Starting with Big Brody. Moving on to the gang. Leah, Richard, Eric, and Edward. I've never tried Apex Legends. Estan, do you have any ideas for realistic enclosures? Ah, they come and go. Sometimes I, I just, I'm, sometimes I just get too a little carried away on the, on the fantasy side of things. But, you know, we'll give it the old college try. You know what could kind of even be. You know, I could have a good, like, wolf's den right here on the, uh, on the other side of Eagle Ridge here. Hmm. Zen people could still kind of make, come down this way and it's still kind of, uh, you know... North American kind of section. I took inspiration from Big Brody. I got 100% size from us and Black Bear and named her Big Bertha. <laughs> That's cool. Estan is more about the creative zoos, despite popular opinion. <laughs> yes. Hey, what's up, Dino? And I love your zoos. Try Rogue Company. Not, not heard of that one. See, this just seems like a good wolf type of spot. You know, I wonder if I could... Let me extend this out a little bit. I saved that blueprint from... We may be able to build off that bl my original blueprint from the lake build. You guys remember that? Still going to keep this path kind of... Kind of thick. Because... It's still kind of the main drag through here, and then we'll kind of bring it up out of this little this little basin. S Stan, when are we getting the lost a Lost Creek live cam? Hey, that could be a thing. <laughs> Get the live stream going again in Lost Creek while I'm at work. <laughs> Let's just see here. What did I do with that? Bum, bum, bum. Falls? Falls is in waterfalls? Oh yeah, I remember that little waterfall. I built that for the pygmy hippos. Um, let's see here.
waterfall concept. Oh yeah, that was I did that for Suyana. Remember, we're trying to keep our waterfalls in check here. <laughs> yeah, the eagles would be really fun to watch. <laughs> Ooh, yes, it did. I did take this. That doesn't seem too terribly over the top either, as so I could remove some of those rocks. Let's just see. Because remember, we don't want like massive. I'm trying to not do like the huge. Suyana massive enclosures here, you know? That's what we're not trying to do. be a good little wolf's den right here. If we can clean this up and make this work. I do believe. Hmm. I think I like it. <laughs> Why not? Embrace your fin fantastic self, bruh. Is this supposed to be more realistic zoo or more decorated zoo? Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know, uh, Dino. It's kind of... I'm kind of going with like almost weird hybrid here. Like, it. I want it to be realistic, but it's also going to have its kind of like little fantasy flair almost, you know? That's kind of what we're going with for this. A little bit of both, but I guess leaning more towards realistic, sort of. Just like the eagles, try to get this just as close to the to the path as I can, because I think that looks cool. And that's the most important part, right? Make it look cool. If you put some wolves in, you've got to call one S daddy. <laughs> yes. Those are huge. I love those red cedars in this game. Didn't they just do a killer job on that texture? Yeah, that's what Simply Savannah was saying. She's like, I really want to get back in. So Simply Savannah was thinking about um, jumping back into Planet Zoo or Planet Coaster and starting like a little, like you know, just a little, um, little one-off park. Um, but then we were talking, and I'm like, the only thing uh, I would love that, but the only thing about going back into Planet Coaster right now for me is it's like playing Planet Zoo on 360p. Like I know that these guys have made like a, a lot of strides with the with reshade and all that, but it's just tough with the incredible lighting package they've given us with this. To, when I go back into Planet Coaster, I'm just kind of like, oh, <laughs> I don't know about this. Realistic, sorta. <laughs> a zoo, if a zoo has money to be focused on pretty. Yes, yes, this is, just think of, um, of Lost Creek as having really, really, um, generous donors, you know. <laughs> really 
generous donors. <laughs> That's a good, you know, Alfie may have a point. The eagles have a massive grizzly bear in front of them and then a wolf pack behind them. <laughs> Did we not think that out too well? <laughs> we'll just, uh, we'll say they're safe. Are you going to add a creek in? Possibly. Of course, we may just run with the, uh, like, it's, the creek is lost. <laughs> right? Nah, I would, I would eventually say at some point we need, like, some kind of actual little creek. Right? Like, at some point, surely. Surely, at some point. And I'm sorry for calling you all Shirley. Oh, yeah, Claire. We're looking at, uh... We're, we're looking out for that Planko 2 2022, maybe late 2021, if we're lucky, uh, announcement, aren't we? That would be killer. <laughs> Someone should really find that creek. Well, you know. But if you found the creek, wouldn't the zoo have to be called Found Creek? <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Technically, you may be on to something there. Yeah, maybe towards the back of the zoo. I can't wait to hear if we get Planko 2 or not. You know, I tweeted um, Frontier CEO a couple days ago. He didn't write back. <laughs> he never does, but I've tweeted him like a bunch throughout the years. I'm like, say something! Remember, like, you guys ever see the... Uh, um, it's one of the newer... Uh, Halloween's. Say something, Michael. Except for I was like, say something. Say something, David. You feel it, don't you? We need more information. Say something. And then the dogs are barking and all that. and You know. <laughs> you know what Lion Rider and Leaf and I were talking about, Drew? couple days ago. Now that Shantae's gone, I'm not quite too sure. See, um, uh, Dahlia is our influencer manager. I'm not sure who the community manager is now. Like, who is our go-to Planet Zoo community person? Like, who is it? Yes, we just want information. Tell us! Yeah, really do not know who that is now. Um, Line Rider was thinking it was the Tim guy. And then I said, well, remember the Jay guy, too, that was really cool, that took over... Um, remember, he took over the Twitter for a little while. Um, that, that, that guy was cool. But I'm just not... Maybe there isn't, like, a lead yet, you know, or, like, a, a complete point person for Zoo just yet. You know? I've just not heard. Jens, Eric, or Tim Smith? He could be. Could be, could be, Jens. Forgot about that guy.
Yes, I did not, did not get an answer from Mr. David Braben. I think, I think their CEO though is really more of a, um, of a elite dangerous focus guy. I don't think he's really, I don't think he's too like hands on with the, uh, with the, with the Planko side of things. I mean, of course he, he tweets about, you know, their performance and all that. And I'm sure, you know, wants them to, to do good and everything. But I think his heart is more in the space side of things. Whereas, you know, all of us, we're theme park and zoo nerds. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure. I'm not just not sure about old David. Seems like a cool guy, though. He's the one that started Frontier, you know, like back in the 80s. Early 80s, I believe. Leave enough room for the little, maybe a little door right here or... Or, you know, I could put the keeper door over here and actually maybe let the wolves play with this um, path a little bit than that more than more so than right here. Yeah, hold on a minute. I think we can do a little we can make this just a little a little offshoot over here if they want to come over here and play a little bit where the where the people would be walking by. Oh, um, Cybris, the, uh, Elite Dangerous is like a, it's like a space exploration game. It's like a procedurally generated, like, you can take your ship and just, you know, <laughs> fly to the, to the edge of whatever universe. <laughs> cool concept, just I'm not really. I played it a couple times, and the, uh, the controls were kind of hard for me to to really get down with the flying and I kept crashing and like burning up in the, in different suns and <laughs> that was a little tough Yeah, this could work out pretty cool. Yeah, same for me. I, I was kind of like I I wanted to I want to be able to get into like um, what's that stinking space game called? We we even live streamed it here a little bit, a Star Citizen. But um, I just nah, eh, I just can't I just can't make myself fully commit to it. It's just I don't know. It's weird. Okay, let's raise this up just a hair. Hey, what's up, G-Rex? Yes, yes, Cybris. Actually, um... It seems like um, it's you've got Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen, Eve Online. Those seem like kind of like the three. Those are like the big three, you know. As far as kind of like fighting for that space game dominance. <laughs> Uh-oh, Claire said maybe they're just busy with Planko 2. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I tweeted him that and he's like, they know. <laughs> I'll be go. I'll be walking out to my mailbox and I'll get killed. <laughs> the day they'll have somebody. If I get killed, come uh, go uh, go after Frontier. <laughs> I 
I just get like, I go out to my mailbox, I get like a, a, a dart in the neck. <laughs> Damn it. Nah, he may, he may have to be kind of hush-hush, though, because of, like, I would assume maybe, um, like, shareholder issues, you know? That's what, that's what I've kind of told Drew, too. I'm like, you know, in the grand scheme of things, we don't know, like, as far as, like, you know how sometimes, like, publicly, publicly traded companies like that and stuff, they kind of have to be careful about what they say in public. Like, remember, the, like, all the, like, sometimes Elon Musk gets in trouble for, like, tweeting like just off the wall kind of weird stuff that changes stock prices and makes stuff crash or fall or <laughs> so you know they they just may be super super careful um with stuff like that though too you know you know you never know with shareholder stuff and sec commissions and <laughs> you can get yourself into some hot water if you're not too careful so maybe it's just not in their best interest to just tweet me back like, yeah, Planet Two's going okay. We're still trying to, you know, hammer out some some core gameplay elements, but it's coming along good. <laughs> you know, that was just kind of like I was telling Lion Rider. That was kind of like just a shot in the dark tweet. Like, hey, this come on, you got anything going on? Is there? And I didn't even, you know, I, I wasn't necessarily just meaning Planko Two. I just meant like any type of. Uh, of planet universe type of game you know like for all we know we could get like a planet city i've told drew before a, a planet prison like a you know like a uh, a uh prison tycoon type game what's the what's the big one out right now or you know it, it was it came out a long time ago but it's still like the dominant is it prison tycoon be cool to see like the little Drew always tells me, no, we don't want that. <laughs> but I think it'd be cool to see, like, the little planet people, like, you know how like, our little people are, but be able to design prisons and stuff like that with, uh, with these type of tools. Different fencing and all that. I think it'd be cool. Best you were ever going to get was probably, we have nothing to confirm about Planet 2 at this time. <laughs> yes. Eh, you're probably right. Sorry, we have nothing to confirm at this time. That's like classic. That's classic frontier lingo. Just like when I used to bug them about like water parks in um, Planet Coaster. Remember that? You guys would have me bug them like every week. What are we going to get? Water parks. Dude, if they're designing a plan a Planet Coaster 2, surely to God they have water parks in mind, right? Like am I am I crazy to assume that? Like that has to be something that happens this time, right? Surely. <laughs> they're working on Planet Zoo 3. <laughs> I want to design planets. Planet. Planet. <laughs> prison prison architect. Yeah, there you go, Oliver. Prison architect is what I'm thinking of. You imagine planet prison? Surely. You would think so, S. Dan, but who knows? I mean, come on. Surely the, the tech has to be there now as far as like what they've learned with Planet Zoo and to be able to get us some type of water park mechanic, you know, slides, you know, the guests actually use them. I mean, that is like, especially with us nerds, like that is a license to print money. If they would just give us, uh, you know, water park capabilities. You know?
I wouldn't mind if they did Planet Resort where you have Planet Hotel, Planet Golf, Planet Water Parks, and Planet Go Kart. That'd be cool. Planet Resort. That would be pretty cool. Man, could, could you all imagine, though, like, once we get that, uh, that Planet Coaster 2 announcement? Like, that absolutely has to be a thing someday, right? Like, am I wrong to think that that would even be developed? Like, but you know, Lion Rider and Drew kind of go back with go back and forth with me a lot on that about how monetarily it may not make much sense when they're developing titles like F1 and stuff, you know. But my counter to to uh, my counter to that though is they just they like Johnny Watts and a lot of the producers they love those type of games and they always say they like developing games that they like to play. So hopefully it won't just turn into like the massive. Um, you know, just F1 type games and they leave these little niche games kind of just to flounder, you know. I mean, I understand where Lion Rider and Drew are coming from with that. That is absolutely, that absolutely sounds plausible. I'm just, I'm just hoping they don't actually go that direction, you know. I would more so hope for a, uh, a, yeah, a rekindling of the, of the planet coaster franchise like go back and kind of start over with what you you know what you left out of the of the original or kind of like maybe the the tech just wasn't there to you know like I mentioned with waterfalls and stuff but maybe now it is and I just think that would be right up my alley I have to push that back just to, let's just see how skinny this is though This may work. That's not too terribly tiny through there. The F1 management game is going to be a very different style to these planet games, though. I'm assuming it's going to be very management-based. Uh, we'll see. Hey, what's up, Blake? I'm pretty confident PC2 is going to be a thing. Win is the only thing. <laughs> Cyber says they've really got the monopoly on these type of games, though. You don't find too many roller coaster and zoo games. Especially now. That's why, you know, that's why it's kind of commendable about, um... Uh... Prehistoric Kingdom kind of taking on this uh, this this genre, you know, um, with with a, a titan in these type of games like like Frontier is and the the footprint that Frontier already has. I mean, with Blue Meridian, you're talking about a really really tiny team, you know. You know, a, 
what may, you know what may even look even cooler than this? Just doing a little, actually a little glass section right here. Like butting up against that, um, coming out of the rock. Could be pretty cool. Hmm. Funny, even just messaged me on my new video. He doubts PC2 is even going to be in development anymore since PZ sold better. Jurassic World Evolution's kind of dead. Yeah, that's what kind of everybody's wondering if um, what that what that kind of like announcement is going to be this summer. Like, remember the uh, remember that tweet that or they they had replied to somebody in a tweet, I believe, and said we we're going to have more we're going to have more to share. Um, this summer, I believe it was. Isn't that right, Lion Rider? That's what that... It was like a... Maybe it was a reply to somebody in the forums or something. Something like, we're, we're excited to share more this summer. I thought that's what they said. That's what they said. I'll be excited for a JW2 if they do it like the Planet Games. I'll be more excited if I get a key to it. If I don't, probably won't be that excited. Giggity. Just kidding, just kidding. I'll be excited, probably. I don't know, I may be balls deep in Prehistoric Kingdom by that time, though. Like I would have my, essentially my zoo game, you know? Or my dino game. I doubt JWE2 will be modular building, though, not gonna lie. Then you are not gonna find all S Dan there. You're not gonna find S Dan there too long if it's not modular building based, you know?
I can't stop thinking about that now. Like Alfie was saying, the, the eagles have um, <laughs> wolves behind them and then a massive grizzly bear in front of them. Playing psychological games on these poor birds. This would be like a nice little resting area right here. We have to figure something out with that. Some kind of little stopping spot right there in the shade. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Sarah? <laughs> but it's tradition now. Planet Coaster 2, Big Splash. You never know. I just need me like <clears throat> a modern water park designer, right? We need that in our lives. Let's see, so we're talking 2 to 12. Okay. Seats are a little high, aren't they? All of it is. There we go. Yeah, I think this is a pretty cool little wolf den. This is weird. I hate I hate this new little next button thing. Don't you guys? Like why though? Check this out, guys. I've got a black Jaguar waiting on a, an exhibit, and I found like a white, like an albino Nile monitor. I scooped those, I scooped them up back about a week ago when I first saw them. Sometimes I'll just scroll through and just see if there are any like really cool ones. And I'll try to, I'll just scoop them up if I can.
we I have to do a Binturong exhibit. Those guys are so those guys are so cool. Ooh, cheetahs. Leopards. Do our quick little run through real quick to make sure we don't see anything really, really interesting. Strange pattern. India P fell. See, the Indian rhinos are cool, but like I said, Lion Rider is working on a um, a white rhino model. That's another one for sale. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna scoop her up just so we. If I want to have two, we'll have two. Somebody had a somebody put a really cool comment today that it'd be fun if eventually if Lost Creek had like a little um, a koala treetop section like where you know, like you know it's a little more elevated and there's little koala bears that you could walk around with. There is only one way to escape the deep chasms of empty space, and the answer comes from within. That's deep. <laughs> That's deep, Earl. We've got to come up with a little red, red panda exhibit. And I want to do some antelopes. I want to do some of those type of like maybe just one or two of them in a in an enclosure, kind of like you'll see sometimes. And we're gonna do one of these, Southern Cossowary. Interesting, interesting, ish, interesting. Whoops, do I not have this completely connected somewhere here? I must be missing a spot. Where are we missing? Whoopsie. Hey, what's up, Corey? Andrea? I mean, if you guys think the next button is bad in Sandbox, at least the animals on every page are actually available. Uh-oh. Delivery, please. <laughs> These guys are going to have to, they're going to have to come from a far ways away. I'll have to get them a better little... There we go. Let's just double check everything real quick as far as this enclosure goes. Okay, they cannot escape. 
Very, very cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so yeah, these guys, we've got them a nice little, pretty nice little den over here. Our little guy's jumping. Um, let's just see here real quick. Cardboard, prey scented sack, blood markers, small ball. This came out pretty stinking cool. I did not even expect to really be doing wolves today. Well, I thought the eagle thing was going to take us longer, <laughs> honestly. So this is... This has turned out pretty cool. Whoops. There we go. One of these days I'm going to do a stream where I redesign the Animal Marketplace UI. <laughs> Be cool. That would be pretty cool. I love the game. My habitats are shitty compared to the community. I want to produce content, but I suck. Uh, you never know. Maybe to us, you wouldn't. We have to see. <laughs> it might be all in your head. You might be creating awesome stuff. See, like Claire says, most of my builds are complete trash and that I need to be more creative, but it doesn't stop me from coming here and putting videos out. I just kind of power through it. <laughs> Try your hand at some custom animal signage. You know, I was proud of myself with this wild burger sign because normally... Like, I don't do this. Like, that doesn't even come into my head. Like, let's do a custom little font for the restaurant. And that came out pretty cool, didn't it? 
I was just like, it doesn't have to be really tiny, so that benefits me. You guys like this little retaining wall that I did? That came out cool, didn't it? Kind of keep that bank up there. Then you've got the little outside seating. I found those little tables and chairs on the workshop. And these over here, I just kind of put some umbrellas on them, but I didn't want to clutter it too clutter it up too much over here. Hey, what's up, Lee? I hate everything I build until I add plants. <laughs> That's true. Me too. Foliage makes the dream work. Oops, that's that weird song we always get to that doesn't make me calm. There we go. Hey, thanks, Andrea. Normally, Estan outsources all his Enzu signs to bold. Yes. My issue is that I'm way too indecisive. Lee's having a beer. You need a creek. See, Andrea. Yeah, that's kind of our conundrum right now, isn't it? We we need like we need a creek, but the creek is lost. So Kind of do like a little berm here. We lost the creek. <laughs> one-way streets that's cool hey see you dino
I want to see Mike Sheets get back into some Planet Zoo. You know, honestly, I don't really, 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 honestly do not watch a lot of Planet Zoo. Um, like my YouTube watch page is like, like documentaries and just kind of weird stuff like that. But when Mike's around and really like, you know, like going hard on a project for a couple weeks, like. I'm there. <laughs> uh, I miss old Mike. Oh, Mike. Remember that on um, Pirates of the Caribbean? So we go to war. I'd love to see Mike back also. Yeah, probably the most, the most Planet Zoo I catch is probably, it has to be probably Savannah, Drew, Bold. I've been keeping up with Terra Nova a little bit. Um, Basic Builder, Poison Blade. Uh, you know, I, I kind of, I, I tune into those guys a pretty good bit, but sometimes, you know, I just, my YouTube is spread a different direction. Yeah, it's like you said, I, uh, I'm kind of in this myself a lot so when I what I'm just like relaxing it's usually just to either get caught up on what these nerds have been doing and then I'm kind of on to I'm like really big into royal documentaries right now too though like even before like even before Prince Philip died I was just like I don't know it's just kind of like a interesting family tradition just it's just interesting to me Very interesting. The Duke of Edinburgh. There we go. That looks like a pretty good little backdrop to the wolfed in doesn't it kind of just uh make this little back area pop a little more instead of just having it kind of fenced off you know uh oh we're about to have a wolf pup we are about to have a wolf pup
Oh, yes, yeah, Cyrus, I actually just finished The Crown. That was pretty good. I enjoyed it. There's, I think there's some spots, though, I have to go back and rewatch because, so, not going to lie, some of it I fell asleep in. Like, I think I missed, a, a, like, the tail ending of a lot of episodes in Season 2. So, I need to jump back in there. Kind of watch some of those again. Kind of like becoming a cool little walkway back through here, isn't it? You've got the eagles. Big Brody on your left. Wolf Den up here. On your right. Glass viewing. <laughs> Stands. Watch pages full of documentaries about the formation of waterfalls. Well, Claire, when I'm talking royal family, I'm talking like from Queen Elizabeth's dad forward to her. Like all of, you know, that's kind of what I'm, that's kind of what I'm interested in. Basically like the whole, that whole dynamic, like right when before her dad become king, and his brother was the king and then had to kind of give up the throne to marry the twice divorced American woman. That's kind of like my little spot that I'm kind of really interested in right now. There's a little pup. We gotta name these guys too. Whoop. I love it when they jump up on the rocks. Hey, what's up, Inspector? I can't be arsed with all the royal shit being British and all. No, Lee, the Eagles are a, a Lion Rider mod. You'll have to go to Planet. Uh, you'll have to go to uh, Planet Zoo Nexus um, to get though to get these guys. God, I took both of those. See, his Brits have a lot of royal family to deal with going way back. <laughs> yes.
Yep, I think it's interesting. Interesting, interesting, I say. Yes, this came out pretty cool. Whoops. Hey, thanks, Cyrus. Lee? British history has a lot of it and boring, and then American history next to none, but quite exciting. Bam, bam, shots fired at both countries. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of interesting. It's like, you know, America hasn't been here long, but has made quite a splash, like, you know, as far as it, as far as has, as being here. But yeah, everything like, like England and the British people is just like super interesting to me. Like, more so than any other country. I could, like, watch documentaries on you all, like, all day. Interesting bunch of people. Oh, we didn't do our members shout out this week either. I'll have to. I will get you guys a shout out. Something else I'm trying to do that I think we're going to do going forward with the members too is um, I'm going to like as far as like you guys, are, you know, it's cool. You're here hanging out with me. But as far as the regular videos go, I am going to try to um, get the time lapses out a day earlier for members. So. Remember that if you join like this video, if we get it ready, uh, let's say for Monday morning, I think what I'll do for members is we will release it Sunday night. So that's another perk I want to, because, you know, I was just kind of trying to brainstorm a little bit and come up with some different perks for like the actual Wolfpack members. And I think that's cool, like an early, kind of like early access to the two YouTube videos. Cause I don't really want to do the members only chat stuff because that's that like gets a seems a little weird to me. But as far as like having the videos ready and showing you guys early, at least giving you access to that if you want to watch it early, I think that'll be a cool, cool little perk moving forward.
Yeah, that it worked out pretty cool. A lot of the members, um, Cybers, were talking about um, the uh, early access to episode two of Lost Creek. They were really excited about that. That worked out good. That was kind of that was the first time like me testing it, and it was a little unexpected. So the, the a lot of the members were messaging me was like, "This is awesome!" So we are, you know, early access. Very, very cool. And then Silver Fox, he's a member, but he's trying to he's trying to play it all cool. He's like, early access, I don't even watch it when it comes out normal. Why would I watch it early? And I'm like, wow, wow. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you little VIPs. Yeah, and I don't think this week, it's not going to be like last week where you're not going to see um, Lost Creek again until next Saturday. I just had a really, really hectic uh, work week this week. Like, I basically just come home and died. Like, I, there was no videos, there was no gaming, so <laughs> you did not miss out on anything. I uh, Hopefully this week, though kind of looking out, I think this is going to be a pretty standard, not a lot going on week. So hopefully, like I said, it will get episode four out probably Monday morning, I'd say. And then we'll kind of see how it goes from there. Uh, maybe do a stream. We, you know, I didn't do any streams last week either, did I? Like at all. Um, no videos, no streams. It was just, I was just slammed. But this week, I should be back a little more normal for you guys. We'll at least get a stream or two in um, a couple nights this evening. For sure. For sure, for sure. So come back and definitely hang out with me. See what kind of mischief we get into. We might, we might switch it up a little bit. I don't know if we'll just do... Um, I don't know if we'll just do Lost Creek. We might jump into some other things too, but Lost Creek will at least be one of the nights. I know Savannah was talking about us trying to get in and do like a a, uh, a Nintendo Switch Mario Kart live stream. So that could be fun. Probably do it a little different than Wreckfest, though, her and I were kind of talking about. Instead of having, like, so many people in, we can still have you guys in. But it'll be, like, me and Savannah kind of on, like, actually on the stream. Like, talking, talking. And you guys can just join in with us if you have a Switch and, you know, want to come play some Mario Kart. Because a lot of you guys were saying, like, the Wreckfest, stu the Wreckfest stuff is, is insanely fun. But there's almost, like, there's too much going on as far as, you know, like, 13 of us trying to talk. So, <laughs> we'll, uh, we're, hopefully Savannah and I can get some kind of Mario Kart stream going and get on there for a couple hours, like when she gets home from work. And so it'll probably be a little later. Like she doesn't get home from work till like seven my time, uh, seven or eight. So if we can work that out, kind of be on the lookout for maybe a Mario Kart stream. Nintendo Nights! <laughs> Mario Kart stream would be hella fun. Oh, I know. That would be awesome. Silver Fox is the edgy kid at school. Oh, 
Oh, hold on a sec. Let me go check on Pumpkin real quick. I hear a noise. <laughs> Okay, she had to go potty. All right, so where, where were we? Okay, we need to kind of close this off back here too. 
Man, it looks like there are some storms about to roll in. Tonight would be like a perfect pajam getting my jammies. Uh, scary movie night. Oh, I have like a... I've been having to like... I've been doing really good on like my grease intake. But I have a really good looking like crust dough rising DiGiorno pizza down in the... Down in my freezer. This seems like a stormy, scary movie, pizza kind of night. I think that's what I'm gonna do. As soon as I get this, as soon as I get this goblin set up for Jaunty's one shot, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then of course check my YouTube comments and listen to you all degrade me. <laughs> oh, pizza for Harry. Oh yeah, we already watched Haunting of Hill House. That was awesome. We watched The Haunting of Bly Manor too. Not as awesome, but still pretty cool. They're supposed to be coming out with another one too. Yeah, I am thinking tonight is pizza night. Pizza night, jammies, thunderstorming outside. Well, it's not really thunderstorming. It's just really, really dark and cloudy right now. Kind of like almost like it wants to sprinkle. Oh, stop it, Harry. I was literally just trying to decide between my frozen pizza and mac and cheese for lunch. <laughs> Ooh, mac and cheese sounds good. Mac and cheese, please. Kind of dress this up a little bit since they're not really messing around back there anyway, you know? Really good filler kind of plant right here. pizza every two-ish weeks so perhaps maybe even better <laughs> I don't really touch horror movies the worst I've watched is the alien movies oh I haven't seen them in a while stop you guys are making me hungry and I've and I've leaf had breakfast dinner and tea that was very British you've already had tea Claire came in at the right time was contemplating lunch <laughs> what's up Mandy Good timing, good timing. What drink goes with what drink goes with pizza? Hmm, Sprite is pretty good with pizza. Um, maybe some fruit, maybe like some fruit punch. Maybe some Kool-Aid or maybe some sweet tea. See, Claire and Harry are like mortified that I drink tea with ice and really, really sweet. <laughs> like, hot tea just sounds bad to me. <laughs> tea 
your beer. Dr. Pepper. Ooh, Dr. Pepper. I like the generic. Um, what's it? It's like it's like a you find it in like food lines and stuff. It's it's like Dr. Thunder. I love like those weird generic sodas like Mountain Lion or Mountain Lightning. <laughs> Dr. Thunder. <laughs> Man, the people that watch the actual time lapse of this, they are not going to believe how much we got done in just a, a little afternoon so far, are they? It's going to be a fun video. Episode 4, that's going to be a fun video. Like I said, probably be on the lookout for that Monday morning-ish. Sweet iced tea and lemon. Can't beat it. Yeah, I had tea. It's like 9 here. Nearly supper time, though. Dr. Pepper is nice. Is it from the U.S.? Yes. I think, I think Pepsi owns it. I think. No, Estan. Tea is made with milk and had warm in a mug. Ice in tea is all kinds of wrong. When do you ever see the queen drinking tea with ice in it? Maybe she has ice in it and we just can't see. Man, guys, like what I tell you back on episode one, Lost Creek is growing, isn't it? Lost Creek is absolutely getting larger. I'd kind of like some, I'd kind of like to make this functional if I could. So let me just see how well this is going to cooperate. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Cybers is not a tea person. No, the queen doesn't. She has her tea in little teacups with milk and sugar cubes poured from her teapot. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there you go, Cyrus. I love me some raspberry iced tea. You guys ever had that? Some razzy tea, we call it. <laughs> razzy tea.
<laughs> Razzy T kind of sounds like a drug. <laughs> If it is, it's a wonderful drug. I like going through Sonic sometime and getting a Razzy T, but then also like they let you like buy a bag of like the pellet ice. That's really, really good. Little bag of the little tiny Little tiny ice cubes. <laughs> Yuck on the flavored tea. Don't mention Sonics. I'm trying not to give in to temptation and have a strawberry slushy. Oh, or yeah, or a, like a cherry limeade slushy. Give in to the cherry limeade temptation. Or an ocean water slushy. Yes. So your meetup spot to get your dose of Razzy is behind the Sonic. <laughs> yes. Decided on mac and cheese. Yeah, but Savannah, didn't this just seem like a pizza kind of evening? Well, it's probably not raining where Savannah's at. Like, where Savannah lives, it rains like twice a year for like two minutes. She gets the wonderful weather. We are getting quite the pack of little river otters over here. Might have to turn on contracept contraceptives. Well, I was born in the south. Have a mum who is a brummy, grew up in Derbyshire, went to uni in Liverpool, and have been living in Yorkshire for the past ten years. I get around a bit. <laughs> Clara, I'm not sure if any of those places even exist. <laughs> Well, I still have one more meal for the day, which means pizza for dinner. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's like, I always forget that, too. It's like 9 a.m. where Savannah's at. Like, she just woke up. Good, we're getting a lot of this little detailing work done today, too. <laughs> no, it's not raining here. I grew up and still live in the lovely town of Redacted. <laughs> Beep. 
Pew, pew, pew. Ah, okay. One where Savannah's at. It's four here. Four eleven. Hey, thanks, Mandy. <laughs> they are all real places. Three eleven, where Chris is at. At least we don't have to worry about our eagles overly populating. <laughs> no chance in that. I like that little spot through there. That's a cool little spot. A little transition right there how it gets a little lower oh I like it this is a little stage I built guys just like you know like little shows and stuff could happen during the day thought that'd be cool what's up wee man You know, um, Harry mentioned, I think Harry mentioned earlier about me like filming waterfalls. You know, I really could. I There's a waterfall near here that it's like a mile or two mile hike. You know, I could take my GoPro and my gimbal and like film that for the channel. It's a pretty cool stinking waterfall too. I could just film like a little vlog style hike up to it. Be cool. Have us a little chat on the way up to the top. Estan vlog. Yes, Estan. How about we do an Estan hiking vlog? Because <laughs> it's quite a hike. You will probably see an out of breath Estan. <laughs> Look at it pushing the food down. T Big Brody doing what he does best. Munching down.
I'm working on my San Diego Zoo vlog right now. We should go to the Hobbiton movie set after COVID? I'd love to. If I went to Hobbiton, I wouldn't leave. Basic Builders back. So, even though the wolf's den is a little larger than I think, you know, kind of like what we've typically kind of been eyeing up with this zoo, it still seems okay, doesn't it? It's like it fits in this little, fits in this little spot really, really well. As far as like your, you know, North American area goes. There we go. Yeah, thanks, Mandy. And I like kind of like the double fencing here. So obviously you can't just like walk right up and like put your fingers in through the wolf fence. <laughs> we should um, get it connected and let like, I don't know, maybe a hundred guests in to just kind of see where they where they go or what they do. A little foraging bed for our anteaters. Getting a little stinky. I've got to do a parking lot too eventually. That's why I kind of pushed it back like so far from the entrance here. So if I wanted to do some kind of cool little parking lot, we could make that happen eventually. Hey. 
Hey, see you, Wee Man. Now, I think Lion Rider actually has a, uh, um, a Red Crowned Crane mod. I haven't downloaded it yet, but one of these days, if I get that downloaded, I could actually maybe have two of them walking around in here. That'd be cool. Uh-oh, you didn't leave enough room for your parking lot? Yeah, I was thinking of that from the beginning. I'm like, you know, Pine Creek had a really, really cool parking lot. I need to remember that, so I kind of wanted to bounce it back just a little bit. This is coming together cool, though. Ah, uh, the crane mod isn't updated to one, for 1.5, though. Ah, gotcha. You know, I haven't checked either to see if his... Um, let's just park right here a second. Let me go see if his White Rhino mod... Let's see if his White Rhino mod is on here yet. Let's see. There's his maimed wolf. Um, let's see here. The maimed wolf is updated for what he did update that for 1.5. Somali Wild Ass. That's cool. Emperor Penguins by Giorno Pizza. Leaf did the Somali Donkeys. Um, Bubbly Wums did the Lesser Flamingo Replacement. Domestic Large White Pig. That looks really, really cool. Nile Crocodile. Um, new Species of Guar. Uh, chin strap penguin leaf updated. Uh, mountain tapir, dole remastered, reindeer antler fix. I do not see his rhino just yet. Do not, do not, do not see it. Estan, what is the brick pattern floor you are using? You mean this little guy? That is, um, it's in the flat roof section. That is your breeze block, if you're talking about that. Breeze block wall floor. Yeah, that's a good little, good little blocking floor there for your plazas. Hey, what's up, periodic? I saw that crocodile and I thought, um, like, uh, the Cuban crocodile, like Zoo Knoxville just got. <gasps> oh, let's do a field trip real quick. Y'all want to see that? They just posted a video of it. Hold on. Let me get, let me stop this music. I don't want to take you guys away. Hold on a sec. Let me. Yeah, his, it's, his name's Miguel. So they have a, they just introduced him. So last Hold on. 
Um, let's see, display capture, which one do I have you on the right one? Yes, here we go. Check this guy out. Last week, uh, Phil Cockle and, and Kelly Cox uh, from Zoo Knoxville staff drove up it's uh, Miguel. to the National Zoo to pick up He's our here. friend Miguel, our male Cuban crocodile, um, and they, they brought him back, obviously. Uh, we, we put him into the, uh, the three holding runs behind the scenes of the exhibit. He stayed there for about six days just trying to get adjusted and, you know, learning the new area that he was in. They um, created him an incredible little enclosure morning. with a pool uh, we, here. Uh, we opened the gate to the, the shift door to allow him to come out on exhibit. I'm gonna get down and vlog this for you guys hours. too we some of us more impatiently than others waited on him to come out but but he finally did um and uh you know just being the 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 big dominant male crocodile that he is he just you know surveyed his domain and and uh, isn't that and awesome got adjusted really quickly um, cuban so crocodile and, uh, you know he's, he's he's swimming around normally he's behaving normally he's basking cuban crocodiles as you would guess from their name are currently found um only in cuba um historically they had they their range was a bit more in the caribbean they could be found in in the cayman islands um and some of the bahamas uh, but they were hunted out over time um, and currently they have the smallest known range of any crocodilian species in the world. Um, they are found primarily in the Zapata Swamp, um, which is an area roughly um, double the size of Knoxville, so about 200 square miles. That is so is, cool. Is I need to do a little enclosure, like a little Cuban be, croc you know, enclosure. Literally just thousands of them left uh, in the wild. We hope in the near future like, huh? to work with a few AZA zoos that are, that are partnering to work with, with folks in Cuba to better preserve this species in the wild so that we we have a nice display home where we're educating guests about them but also in turn um, you know helping them where it matters most which is which is in Cuba is happening this isn't a dream um, but then adding you know the the, the keynote uh, uh, critter to this habitat or to this building has been just the best and, and just seeing him and, and knowing what how beautiful he is and how much I think people are really going to enjoy him being here. Mm -hmm. How many fat millions it's just, of people it's great. I mean, are going to pass through there to explain and, to and see that, him. About it. So, That's like cool. Christmas when you were a kid. So, only it's a crocodile that could kill you. But it's still awesome. <laughs> that could kill you. So last week... Uh, Wasn't that cool? <laughs> Miguel is gorgeous. Yes, we, we need Miguel in Lost Creek. So yeah, we'll get down there and film, film Miguel in an upcoming vlog. So I got to go to the waterfall. I got to get back to Zoo Knoxville. <laughs> we'll, we'll get some filming done. But uh, yeah, guys, I think what we'll do is I will end this here um, and I'll go ahead and try to get this taken. I'll get it downloaded, get it sped up, and we will get an actual time lapse video ready for the regular video viewers. And um, I don't know, maybe we'll pop back in here tomorrow-ish. We'll just kind of have to see. Um, I, don't, I, I may have time to jump in and kind of get some more work done with you guys, but I kind of want to do a little more research and kind of try to decide what animals we want to do next, um, implied or real. Um, so yeah, kind of give me a little time on that and um, we'll see kind of what I can come up with next. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you have it. I'm going to get a picture of our little, of our little eagle guys here and uh, post that real quick and see what people think. And um, yeah, don't forget to smash the like button for me if you ended up enjoying this stream. And I will catch you guys uh, in the next one. Thank you. See you guys.